Gang, 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 gang. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? We here, we live, we in the building, we back. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching my channel. Um, if you don't know already, a lot of my content about the market is on my Instagram, my Instagram story, my Instagram highlights, and my Instagram posts. And I'm trying to make that transition to posting on YouTube as well, because obviously I can post longer videos and more in-depth you know, of my knowledge about the market on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys for making the transition with me. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be notified when videos like these drop. But long story short, let's get right to the video as I usually do. The reason why a lot of you guys lose money in the market is because you guys don't know when to correctly get in the market. It's literally that simple. Like you want to say psychology and everything else like that all factors into it, but it comes down to one point. You don't know when to correctly get in. If you know when to correctly get in the market, guess what? You will make money. It's that simple. Some people get in too early. Some people get in too late, but both of these instances result in you guys not knowing when to get in. So I have a lot of examples of here right now to show exactly what a lot of you guys do. And I know because I've done it before. Like I said, I've been trading for five years. My first two years is purely doing this. You feel what I'm saying? So let's just get right to the market so I can show you guys examples. All right, so we're here. So the thing with you guys is you guys will see a pair like this. So UJ, for example, and you guys will see clearly it's going up. Boom, came down, consolidated a little bit, and it's going up. The thing you guys don't do, and it comes down to psychology, of course, too, but what you guys don't do is you guys don't wait. You guys are not patient. You guys will see this big ass candle and have, you know, FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. So what you guys will do is get in right here. Once you see this big ass candle forming, you'll get in right here. And this is the wrong way to get in. Y'all have like a take profit, like way up here, I guess, like whatever it may be. And the thing is, is like, where's your stop loss gonna go? In general, if price is going up, your stop loss has to be below the last low. The last higher low was that. And if it's going down, your stop loss has to be above the last lower high it made. You feel what I'm saying? So with here, technically your stop loss is supposed to go beneath here but you guys got in way too late if you were to get in right here so you guys don't know where to put your stop losses at which comes down to obviously not getting in correctly and then guess what happens you try to play this and then what happens you're in profit for some time but guess what negative 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 you lost a whole bunch of money it's that simple because you guys got in way too early now if we flip this and show you when to accurately get in the market look at this we have a trend line a clear trend line there's a reason we have these technical analysis tools at our disposal. We have support and resistance, which is the key areas and the key levels. We have, you know, our moving averages. We have the candlesticks that tell us everything. And then, of course, we have trend lines and stuff. And we have to use all this to help us figure out when to get in, when to get out. They're not just there for a show or to look good. They're here to help us make money. You feel what I'm saying? So, look, we have this trend line here. And we have this 110 area right here where it's a major, you know, resistance level. So what do we do? Every time, like when price is up here, like way up here in no man's land, you can't get in. You have to be patient. The trade is already moving. Like you already missed that part of the trade. Leave it alone. Wait till price comes back to you. So look at here. If you get in right here for a long position and you try to get up here, guess what happens? You're negative, like you're negative. You're getting in at a random time. So you have to get in. Like if price is breaking a resistance level, support level, guess what? Get in once it's breaking and after it holds and retests and stuff like that. But get in near that level. You can't just get in in no man's land. So with a trend line, where do you get in at? Near the trend line. You can't get in way over here. So you look over here, we see a bounce here and a bounce here. Look at this. So let's just go right here for example. So you know what a trend line Price can do two things. That is it. It can either bounce off the trend line and go up, or it can break through the trend line and continue going down. Obviously, in the uptrend. You feel what I'm saying? So, since we have an uptrend right now, price can do one or two things. Price can either bounce off of it and go up, or break the trend line. So, all we need to do right now when price is approaching this trend line is manually watch it and see what it wants to do. Is it going to break it, or is it going to go above? Price gets right here, and what does it do? It forms a hammer, which is a Japanese candlestick that tells you price is about to reverse and go back up. It's a reversal candle, which is why you got to understand what the candlesticks represent and the patterns. So once it does that, price creates a higher low and an uptrend is higher, higher, higher lows. This low right here is lower than that. 
right then and there, you could have easily got in, but most likely wait till it crosses above the moving average. Look at this, long position. You get in right here, and now you have a tight stop loss that's right below here, and guess what? You won't, even if price were to come back down, you wouldn't lose that much money because you had a tight stop loss because of your entry was so great. Whereas if you get in in no man's land, you're gonna lose a lot of money because you have to have a big stop loss. So right here, we have a stop loss a little bit below the last low, which is here, and now our take profit is 110 because that's the next major level. What does price do? Price gets here and goes right to profit. Never comes down to negative. Right to profit, right to profit, right to profit. Boom, 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 boom. And look, you made a lot of money. Three to one risk to reward ratio. Perfect. You get out the trade. You made your money. And now, right now, since it's at 110, what do we do? We wait to see what price is going to do and if it's going to continue up and break above 110, or is it going to come back down, reject it, and then break below this trend line? Price gets right here, gets right here. And what does it do? <clears throat> what does it do? We're on a four hour right now. You can easily get onto the one hour time frame and just look at price. This is the reason why we have different time frames. You look at the weekly and daily to see, okay, what is price doing on a weekly standpoint, on a daily standpoint, and just analyze it. But then you scale down to the four hour, the one hour, even a 15 minute for entries. We're on a one hour right now. We see price is in this consolidation. Let me go back to the four hour really quick just to show y'all. So we see when price is at this level of 110, what is it doing? It is basically consolidating. So if we wanted to get this, obviously this rectangle right here, look at this. Great level. Price is consolidating. Look at this. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So what we could do is wait till price breaks the box, of course, but also look at the moving average. And look at this. Look at the moving average. Look at the candlesticks. Look at everything. You have to correctly get in. You feel what I'm saying? And look at this. Price rejects this rectangle, right? Comes up, places a doji, a freaking doji on the moving average. <clears throat> that right there alone should tell you, get in. It didn't place a doji and come down. It placed a doji above the moving average, telling you price wants to break up. So you get in. You get in right here at the end of this close of a doji. And guess what? Your take profit is the next level we have, which is our blue level, which is where we had it at. And now look at your stop loss. Your stop loss is below this box because this box is a rectangle. I probably will put it a little bit lower because this you know, this candlestick came out the box. So I, I still want it like below the last low. And guess what? Now you have a five to one risk to reward ratio. That means if you're risking $100, your reward would be 500. You're risking $200, your reward would be a thousand. Like the risk is not that big in comparison to the reward, which is what we want. Now look at this. Price goes right to the take profit and then comes back down. Now, for example, the reason I had 112 at the take profit, I went back to the daily and the weekly and looked at, uh, I, I saw this, look at this. On a weekly standpoint, price usually gets here and reverses. Gets here and reverses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times it got to 112 in reverse. So our take profit level is 112 for UJ. Because you got to see what price did in the past. In the past, it reversed off 112. So what is it going to do? Again, it's going to reverse off 112 or break above it. But our take profit has to be at 112 and stop there. We can't have a take profit above 112 because who to say it's going to break above? If in the past it constantly stopped at 112, what makes you think it's gonna, you know, not stop there again? At least hesitate. It can break through, but it won't break through without a fight. It'll be hesitating, hesitating, like consolidating, and then boom, break up. It won't just break up. So our take profit has to be at 112. So look, so we had a take profit at 112, and look what price does. Gets right to 112 and then reverses. And guess what? We got our money up here, hit our take profit, we get out, boom, scotch. Free. You guys got to know when to accurately get in. Be patient. A lot of people, like I said, would have gotten in. You see this uptrend way up here, way up here. You guys would have gotten in up here and your stop loss would have been way too great because your stop loss had to be way down here, but it would have been way too big to even get in the trade. It wouldn't even make sense. And then eventually, if you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't know that price usually stopped at 112, then what do you do? You probably had a bigger take profit, and then guess what? You're a little bit in profit, and then boom, price stops you way out, and you lost a lot of money because you had a huge ass stop loss. You feel what I'm saying? Now, even if you got in where my entry was, which was great, which is way down here, and your stop loss was very tight, you know what I mean? Obviously, you gotta have some you know room for your trade to breathe in, but we're placing our stop loss at a great level where a price breaks that level, it's definitely going down. Like if price, if we had our stop loss up here, right? Guess what? Price could have came right here. If I bar replay this, let me X this out really quick. 
if I bar replay this right here, Price could have got right here, right? You see all this red? Stopped you out and then still went up. And guess what? It'll still be an uptrend because guess what? It did not take the last low out. As long as it doesn't come below this level, it's still an uptrend no matter what. But since you guys didn't know that, that's why we have our stop losses below there because we know if it hits our stop loss, it's definitely going in the other direction. There's no, you know, ifs or buts about it. So we have our entry right here. Now back to my point, if you had an entry like I would have had it, but you, you didn't know price stopped at 112 because you just didn't know that based on, you know, scaling back to the weekly and you had a way above here. Another trick that you can do is you see all these, you know, you see this momentum candle right here. And then you see all these little, you know, hesitation. So let's say, let's say I delete this. Let's say I delete this uh, box right here, right? The minute you see all of this and you see all these candles, one, two, three, four, five dojis up here, that tells you there's some kind of resistance level that price is not breaking. And then guess what? Price comes down, tries to come up, but it makes a lower high. Once you see that lower high, guess what? Get out, get out. Like if I reverse all this, you see all of this and it's starting to come back down. But after, because you see, five dojis and a lower high, get out, manually take your money out. But what we wanna do is place our targets at the correct levels so we know when to get in. That's why a lot of y'all lose money. And that's just you, Jay. I can show y'all with other pairs as well, like with GA in particular, you know, we have this, you know, trend line. We have a trend line going. We have a Fibonacci going. Obviously you guys can see the A, B, C formation, but I'll just place it in case you guys can't see it. A, A, B, C, D, right? We have all of that working for us. Let me just delete this really quick, right? So we see prices going up. Where do we get in, right? We see prices going up. So we have two things to look for. We have a trend line that we can see if we want to get in, or we see this major resistance level and a break above it if we can get in. Anywhere else, do not even think about getting in. Just wait, be patient, because price will come back to the level you're looking at, whether it's a trend line or a major resistance or support level. So we scale down. Now, if it was this trend line in, in particular, scale down all the way down to the 15 minute. Look at this trend line bounce. You see, price got right back to the trend line, just like it did on UJ. And guess what? Price engulfed this red candle way up here and broke above the moving average. So what we do, we get in for a buy, our stop loss is below this candle and our take profit is 195 because that is the next major area price went to. Let me, you know, bring this all the way over. And what does price do? Price, boom, profit, 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 come scale back a little bit, scale back a little bit, scale back. You could have obviously had a Fibonacci right there too. Scaling back, scaling back. And guess what it does? Boom, hits our take profit right here, 195. And if you want to say it technically didn't, that's just like, it's the area. You got to understand, like we're placing it at an area. So anywhere within this gray box, it hit. Even if it didn't and you want to let it actually hit 195 and not 194, 90, then look, we keep waiting, waiting. Guess what? It breaks above and boom, crushes our take profit. Boom, we get out. Always get out at a major support or resistance level. Don't try to hold it unless you see it break through. Now, that trade is done. Now, like I said, a lot of y'all... Once y'all see this, you know, up, 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 y'all would have gotten in like right here. And guess what? Price goes up and then comes all the way back down, stops you out, gets you negative. And even if it doesn't stop you out, you guys seeing that you guys are losing 200, 300 or $400, you guys are going to be scared and be like, oh, I'm a man you close. So I don't lose anymore. Boom. And you shouldn't even be that negative. It's called drawdown. You shouldn't have that much drawdown in the first place. You feel what I'm saying? Drawdown happens. Like, don't get me wrong, but you shouldn't have more drawdown than you should have, you know, profit made. So stop getting in too early and too late. Wait for it to come back to a level. So we see this level that it breaks 195. And look what it does right here. Let's go back to the four hour. Refresh this page. All right, right now, we see prices getting here, getting here, getting here, and then breaks above 195, right? Well, we could do two things. One, price goes up right here, comes down, and now you could either, because this is still 100 pips right here, 194 to 195. So two things you could do. You could either wait till it breaks above 195 or ride this 100 pips up because price created a higher low. So you have an accurate place to place a stop loss. You see this right here? Like when price comes right here, tries to retest and break this level, but it can't break this level right here. For the sake of argument, let's just delete this, right? Boom. And let's place it right here. We see price stop right here, right? Price one, two, three. Bounced off of there. Once it bounced, once it's bouncing off of here, you know that this is one of Fibonacci retracement. A, B, B is right here. C, bounced off the 50. 
and your take profit would be within this level of right here of, of D, which is a negative 27 extension, right? So once you see prices stopping and it creates a higher low, guess what? You can get in. Like, feel free to get in. Your entries right here at the end of this close, stop loss below this box, take profit at that 27 extension, which was the top of here. And now you have a three to one risk to reward ratio. Get in, boom, trade is done. You're really never in negative. It goes, look at this, it goes straight up, boom. But you have to wait till price tells you. Wait till price gives you a higher low, a lower high. You feel what I'm saying? Wait till price gets near a trend line, either bounces off the trend line or breaks through it. Wait till price gets in there resistance or support, breaks through it or rejects it. It's like right here. It's the last example I'll show you guys is that when price is getting up here and it gets above 195, a lot of y'all would want to, you know, get in right here. And guess what? You're never really in profit. You get in randomly and then price goes right to negative, negative. You're always in negative and then you're scared and you like manually close yourself. Just wait. Just be patient. Like price right here is retesting this level. I had my mark there too, but price is retesting 195 and look what it does. We go to the one hour and look what it does. Price creates a higher low right here, right here. I had this drawn on, but look, price never really creates a higher low anywhere. You feel what I'm saying? Like price goes down, comes up a little bit. This is a lower high because this high is lower than that high. Boom, comes down. But when it comes down here, Boom, it's starting to consolidate right here little by little by little by little by little, right? Just a little bit. So that tells us price wants to go up. Price is breaking through this moving average. We go down to the 15-minute time frame, scale down, like constantly scale down. You can see, you scale down, you can see price is really, you know, making uh price is really making a higher low. Like you can see, price is really making a higher low. So clearly price is going back up. Clearly price wants to go up and shoot up. Doesn't want to go back below 195. The retest has already been done. Get in. So we look here. We see here. Boom, going up, up, up. Boom. Higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. What do you do? You get in. Price breaks above this moving average right here. What do you do? Get in. Stop loss is at 195. Just a little bit below. Because the lowest here, the lowest here, the lowest here. A little bit below it. Your take profit is the next key level, which is 197.50. Now you have a five to one risk to reward ratio. And guess what? You're never really negative because you perfected your entries. Now, no entry is ever perfect, but what you can do is get the best entry possible. You guys got to stop getting in at random moments. You guys will see a trend go straight up and you guys will get in. And guess what? You missed the whole trend. You can't just get in when you see price going way up. You have to wait for a retrace. Price will always retrace. Get that in your head. Price, even if you miss the whole big move, don't be mad. Price will come back down and retrace. Once it retraces and it creates a higher low, guess what? Create a trend line or put like a little box under it that signifies its support and then scale down to a 15 minute time frame. See like a candlestick formation and get in and your stop loss is right under that box and it's really close and you won't be afraid that if it hits your stop loss, how much money you're going to lose because it's not going to affect that much. Price goes right to our take profit. Boom. Hesitates, 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 hesitates. Boom smashes it, gets us in, now we're out the trade, and then price starts to fall, 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 fall. You feel what I'm saying? You just gotta understand when to get in and when to get out. And even in here, I can I can easily try to try to get in off this sell here as well. Like right here, once price gets to 197, 500, like every time price gets to a major key level, understand it's either gonna reject it or break above it. You feel what I'm saying? So this right here, this was either rejection or break above. Right here, we see a tweezer top, which is a formation that says it's gonna go back down on our major key level, which signifies a reversal. Then we get a Marabozu candle. Then we get a shooting star. That's four different confirmations that's telling us that price is going back down. And then it goes below the moving average. So what do you do? You get in for a sell right here, right below the Marabozu in the middle of the shooting star, take profit way down here. Stop loss is above this area right here. It's a tight stop loss, five to one risk reward ratio. Now, where where do you know to have gotten out at? Whenever you see price start to stall consolidate, our take profit level is always the next key level or key area. So my take profit would have been down here and price never gets there before going back up. That's why you mainly look at your trades here and there because once I see price come down straight right here and then create a hammer. Remember I said a hammer earlier in this video is a, is a bullish reversal. So whenever you see a hammer, price is signaling that it wants to go back up. I saw a hammer right here 
and price is not really making any lower lows. It's consolidating right now. You see this right here? Price is not breaking below this low. If it was go if it if it was a pure downtrend, it would have no problem breaking this low. It would retest. Like once you see this retrace, you'd be like, okay, that's a lower high. That is a lower high. And now it's like, okay, cool. Bounce to the trend line. It's about to go back down. Guess what? It does not create a lower low. This is the low. It does not go lower than this low. It's just bouncing off the box. That tells you price is stalling. The trade is done. Get out. So instead of you, instead of waiting for your take profit to hit, you got to be smart and adjust and be like, you know what? I'm going to take my money right here. I got a lot of profit, a lot of profit from here to here. Price is consolidating, about to go back up. And guess what? You manually close. You get out. You get out. You get out out and guess what you look at the next trade you keep this box right here price is not breaking below it and you see when does price want to go back up guess what happens price comes right here guess what this gets to the box every time this is the first one that does it so what does that tell you that's a higher low that is telling you price is about to go back up and then what do you do you see this breakout candle right here guess what you long it you buy it you get in you take profit to the next key level which is 1975 again south loss below this box now you have a three to one risk to reward ratio. And guess what? You're never negative. Price smashes to take profit. You make your money and you get out. That's a lot of information right there, but it's the same thing. Stop getting in too early or too late. Like you get in too early before the price is even moved and you lose money. You get in too late when the trend is done and you lose money. Like be easy, be patient, stop. Like being patient will pay you. Like you guys understand the market is never going to close. The stock market can crash all at once. The currency market will not will not because when the u.s stock market wants to crash and all that extra stuff or even china guess what there's great britain there's the european union there's switzerland there's so many countries we can trade from you feel what i'm saying be patient you missed the trend okay it's only monday wait let it retrace let it come back down get in like you guys don't understand this market constantly moves sunday through friday like you guys are good so if i can get if you can get one thing through this video figure out your your psychology your mentality get in at the right time. And the right time is always when it's near support or resistance level, near a trend line, you see a Japanese candlestick on a major area, you got Fibonacci going, price creates a lower high, lower low, or a higher low, or a higher high, like any of those technical analysis tools that I present to you guys in one of my videos, use them. They're here to help you make money. So gang, I hope that helped you guys out a lot. You guys are not losing money because the banks are against you or your broker is against you. You're losing money because your psychology is not in place and you're getting in because you're so anxious to make money and you're getting in at the wrong time, too early and too late. And let's also get this one thing clear. Like you will always lose money in the market no matter what. The goal is to make way more money than you lose. Like nobody is ever a 100% profitable trader. The goal is to be 80, 20, 70, 30, 90, 10. The goal is like, okay, if I lose a thousand dollars this week, by the end of the week, I already made 8,000. So my net profit is 7,000. Like, so you got to understand that if you lose money, it's okay. The goal is to have a great stop loss and know when to accurately get in. So if you do happen to lose money and the trade goes against you, it's not that much. And with the strategies we implement and you implement with your trading strategy and your trading plan, guess what? You will make way more money than you lose and you won't even worry about it. That's the goal. Hope that helps you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below what videos you guys want to see next and we will go from there. Gang, gang, and gang. I'm out of breath, bro. That was a lot. Gang.